So we just saw the season two finale of Animal Control. And it's a show that we don't keep up with, but I gotta say, I've been sort of thinking about it, appreciating some of the acting, appreciating a lot of the writing, and even though the style of humor is not my favorite, hats off to people who can work that workplace comedy formula mm -hmm. and really invest in it some care for the characters yeah. and make sure that they don't have to go and stretch it too far in order to get a laugh. Right. So right. I do appreciate these are character driven laughs for the most part and yeah, animal yeah. driven. Yeah. And there's some cute little animals. Yes, yes, and yeah. They really did get me to feel something about characters I hadn't met before right, right. and invest in them a little bit in the will they, won't they, and are they yeah. going to stay in the country? Yeah, Come on, yeah. Victoria, yeah, pass yeah, that yeah, test. Yeah. Just all these little stakes yeah. I got pulled into. Yeah, it's well done for the format it is. Um, yeah. You know, it sort of reminds me of, um, you know, hearing a pop song. Uh, and, you know, it, it, yeah. a really good pop song. Um, even though we're not huge pop fans, right, right, exactly. But it still moves you. Yeah, it's you know, yeah. it's very you know formulaic or whatever. Um, but it works. But the formula yeah, works. Yeah, exactly. And sometimes you get you get one that you know fits the formula. Yeah. But it's you know a little bit more special than your normal yeah. pop song sort of thing. I think what's special is the ensemble. They're daring to yeah. let these folks really be believable, realistic. Shred is lovely. Emily is lovely. You right. have Crystal in the mix, so I didn't get a lot from. I guess we just mm -hmm. didn't. She's the assistant to Emily, and she joined, right. I guess, in season two. Mm -hmm. And so I guess they're adding something to the mix. Right. We saw Kevin McHale's character's family members, and that explains some of his uh personality which i guess is like kevin McHale from other stuff too mm -hmm. essentially but right. because other people don't have the same kind of curmudgeonly kind of background i just think that was the one thing that made me say am i gonna like this show yeah. and i did i like the rapid fire humor i'm mm -hmm. not really gonna come back for more because there's something here in the formulaic nature of it that i appreciate but i also crave things that are a little quirkier a little mm -hmm. different and I know I know they have the animal angle and I know I didn't give them the full season to win me over because right, right. some of these characters are probably fairly quirky Shred comes to mind right, Emily sure, comes to sure. mind she's doing her little Italian accent thing right, she seems right. like she could win my heart but I'm thinking that the main driving force of this is the Kevin McHale character the center of his humor even though they're showing the softer side underneath the hard exterior it's just going to be something that doesn't pull me over. Mm -hmm. So i got to mm -hmm. tap out of it, you guys. And <laughs> go ahead and comment and tell me why I shouldn't. Yeah, because yeah. I'm into good writing. Yeah. And I do say this was excellent writing. Mm -hmm. They really know the mm -hmm. formula. Yeah. They didn't want to reinvent it. They yeah. just peopled it with livable, mm -hmm. lived in, lovable, there you go, lovable characters. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I want to be... And I like the, I like the uh, variety of... of... Yeah. characters their their personalities you know you have your you know more quirky yeah, yeah. types and you're more very straightforward yeah um you know so you got you get a range you get a nice range of, of and they fit people. together they yeah a range but it still felt like right. they would work together right they right. could be here right they could all be working with each other and exactly. dealing with each other and yeah, yeah. enjoying each other yeah so I like the moment at the end in which the Kevin McHale character sort of looks around and says, no, I'm going to choose to stay here because he's mm -hmm. given an opportunity after he works this big case to maybe go back and become a police officer again mm -hmm. if his commercially father pulls some strings. And he says, no, I think I belong here. It feels like this is a comfortable space where these characters do belong and the writers know this space and they know mm -hmm. how to land the jokes yeah. based on these folks and who they are to each other yeah. and i did look up the uh, license plate contest with their oh, they're doing yeah. this a long, long term kind of right, thing right, going right, on the precinct right, right. and it's that kind of thing where yeah. they're into season two going into season three they right. don't have to make it so newbies like you and me can keep up but they did pull my heartstrings with the mm -hmm. Emily Shred stuff, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with the whole Emily getting proposed to, right. and then sort of faking like the signal went away. Right. And I guess the person who she's um, who proposed to her is a person I guess who maybe used to run that department, but then he had a uh, terrible attack. He was a nice guy, and he would uh -huh. like help her and mentor her uh -huh. somewhat. And I guess they started dating. Uh -huh. So okay. he's a character that people care about and root for, and he's trying to find his way, I guess. Right. Right. But the timing with sort of Emily saying, wait, pause, let me go see what Shred's doing. Yeah, and then Shred yeah, yeah. has yeah. the person that he's been trying to hook up with 
come in and she seems lovely and cute and like a very cute oh, yeah, 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 yeah. that yeah. was sort of fun but also heartbreaking for me even though i haven't met these characters before tonight yeah, yeah, yeah. and so that's some good writing that's some good acting there yeah, and yeah, having yeah. these folks and letting people find vulnerabilities inside mm -hmm, of them and mm -hmm. relate to them so yeah and there's you know uh in the previous scene she was talking to her boyfriend emily and, yeah yeah and um you know you, you could you could tell there was uh, there wasn't that like she w she wasn't into the same things he was into you know like he was on this religious retreat you know trying to get spiritual awakening and all this stuff and she was like oh that's that's nice you know? and I think people will know more about him because I guess he is someone who is helping mm -hmm. her throughout the show right to sort of get at home into her job because right. this was something she got by political connections and okay. then she starts to learn it and really get into it. Yeah. So he might have redeeming qualities we don't know about oh, yeah, because yeah, yeah, he's yeah, been yeah, he's in just... the show sort of put in the DNA of the show it seems. But yeah, 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 it just yeah. didn't seem like he had the charisma for Emily for her yeah like in her just, eyes. Yeah, that it just, it just it, was, so. you can tell, you know, they're mm -hmm. they're broadcasting it clearly mm -hmm. that, you know, they're Very they're clearly. just not not the best match yeah and it's sort of heartbreaking to see how it really feels in real life when the timing stuff sort of right. doesn't work out for right. people and right. he seems like a sweet person and y'all can just comment and uh, let us know if yeah. he's uber 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 sweet and that's who she should really be with or not people yeah. were discussing yeah. that this is the shred emily thing is not necessarily as inevitable as some other pairings that people tease over seasons right. of time and then right. finally bring home right, right. but Maybe y'all disagree. Let us know. But essentially, I feel like I enjoy the ensemble nature of it. Yeah. I enjoy the acting. No one felt like they hit a wrong note. It just seems like because it's a short show, it's a half hour comedy. Right, right. I couldn't get a read on a lot with Victoria, who had just gotten her citizenship. Mm -hmm. I couldn't get a read on a lot with Crystal, who's the assistant to Emily. They had their things to do, right. but it just wasn't the space for them to breathe and get a lot of time. Yeah. But you can only do yeah. so much. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. really have to be tight in that 30 minutes. So I appreciated the writing the density of the jokes, and they were character-based. Mm -hmm. I love the little cute animals. I didn't think they were going to move me. I was ready to be curmudgeonly myself and say, these cute animals, I'm not going to say this show. This show's not good, but it was mm -hmm. a good show. It's just a style of humor for centering around the Kevin McHale character, like cracking that rough exterior. Right. It's not something I'm that drawn toward. I guess right. I just can't relate to it that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But go ahead and let me know. <laughs> No, I don't have a rough exterior. You are you saying. are married to me, you know. <laughs> I to crack you. You got to crack you. That's you. That's your work. No, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I already learned the hard mm -hmm. way. Don't try to crack something. Don't try to change a man. Mm -hmm. So I'm not invested in peeling those layers yeah, yeah. to see yeah. that for him because he's got to do that himself. Yeah, but yeah. it looks like yeah. he's, he's sort of... Maybe slowly, doing that, slowly maybe. but surely. Doing you that, guys yeah. let us know. Yeah. It was fun, though. So, it was uh, fun to see what I liked and what I didn't like, honestly, because it's just my tastes. Mm -hmm. It was well done. Yeah. The acting, yeah. the writing, all well done. Mm -hmm. but it's a formula that doesn't have all the ingredients that I really, really love. Right. Right. So let you know people out there just root for it. It's getting a season three. I hope y'all enjoy it. I didn't really notice anything that was like not well done. It's just mm -hmm. some things are my taste and some things are not. Yeah. And uh, Kevin McHale does a good job, you know, but he's a style of humor that, you know, he brings, really he owns it mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, he does it well, mm -hmm. but it's just not my main thing to right. explore. He's right. a cute guy too. I mean, you know, it's not, not bad to look at. They got mm -hmm. the right formula for yeah, yeah. a lot of fans. Yeah, yeah. They're doing all right. So I think I talked about the acting and the writing. I wanted to get into spirituality, and I don't know if you yeah. had something you wanted to share with everybody, so we well, can pull the, that up. Yeah, the, what I was thinking about with spirituality was <clears throat> um, love, yeah. um, and with the um, boy Emily's boyfriend. I think his name that might be Bigley. Okay. Sure. Um, you know, he's obviously doing some spiritual work, <clears throat> um, getting some some realizations, yeah, some breakthroughs. breakthroughs. And we want to be excited for him. Yeah, and um, so he's, you know, he's realizing <clears throat> how much he loves Emily, mm. and so he proposes to her. Um, but then, you know, you, you, you have to worry, you have, because that's, you know, that's sort of, you're not quite sure what combination of romantic love and spiritual love is there. Um, mm. You know, usually, in that situation, it would just be like romantic love, um, you know, sort of like 
what can this person give me type of right uh, am i know. attracted to them right, right. Do, they... do they please me right and you know all this stuff um you know in combination to you know obviously wishing them well on their journey yeah 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 but but a lot of a lot of grasping at uh you know having them be the source of your happiness type of thing right. um so you know as as she is undoubtedly going to say no to his proposal um then you you know you have to wonder you undoubtedly know, does he have enough spiritual love mm. for her you know sort of unconditional love where he really wants her to be happy no matter what you know so you don't think she'll backtrack because shred is otherwise involved well, i think she's she's realized like i don't think she realized before that she wasn't really into them that much yeah. victoria and crystal sort of had to say something to her i guess victoria was like life's too short go talk to shred <laughs> right 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 I'm not trying to tell you what you feel but right. you need to explore the person that you're really looking at here. right right but it seems, it seems like she hadn't really thought about it too much and then that might but be. this forced the issue and she's like oh you know yeah i'm really not into you that much type of thing you know right. like i like hanging out with you but you know i'm not and fair enough right because how many yeah. times can yeah. it just be like in real life that you have feelings for somebody, but mm -hmm. they don't reciprocate, and right. that's just not as tragic as you feel like it is right. when it's happening to you. <laughs> it's know. just it a part of feels tragic, being but... drawn to somebody yeah, yeah, yeah. and them yeah. drawn to you on a certain level, yeah. but not the same level. Right. Well, it's hard. It's right. painful. Right. Been yeah. there. Yeah, so, so, you know, then you get into the whole sort of, like, you know, how deep is his love? Mm. You know, how, uh, how much spiritual realiza realizations has he had? Um, just can can he you know still love her even though she doesn't want to marry him type of thing? Yeah, you know? and if they started from the place of him being sort of trying to help her and mentor her, yeah, then hopefully they have a basis where right. they could still be not toxic for each other. Let's say if not like totally helpful and supportive of one another yeah, in whatever yeah. capacity makes sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If he's going to be on the other side of the world <laughs> for any long period of time. I guess they don't have to interact that much, but he'll probably come back. Yeah, I would imagine yeah. that's that's the plan. But uh, yeah, because he's had his breakthrough. So yeah, I mean, he wants to, to marry life. her. He's not gonna be like, hey, come to. The yeah, Himalayas I guess I'm just and, like yeah. you, assuming that that's not gonna work. So then is he gonna right. move away somewhere? But no, he's gonna come back and expect that they're gonna do. It should be interesting to see how she handles it. She yeah, doesn't yeah. seem like somebody who doesn't have bravery, you know, right, or a sense right. of self or efficacy you know yeah. like she could probably navigate a tricky situation like this yeah but, but it also you, you, seems you like you have bravery in different that's true ways and she know? wasn't that aware of how she was feeling until yeah like you said the issue got pushed this yeah. is very interesting isn't it so instead of just stay on the surface of it like thinking really about these characters as real kind of people mm -hmm. and what does that mean for their development to finally know what you want and then that opens up a lot of things even if you don't get the combination of things you thought you wanted, right. just knowing what you want, right, right, has some clarity. Yeah. It can really help you, yeah. even if you're disappointed because those relationships don't work out. Self knowledge, self awareness, right, right, beneficial, right. Well, that's an interesting thing to point out because I guess mm -hmm. when I watch some of these things, certain types of sitcoms make me think about archetypes of characters more than realistic kind of characters. These folks were realistic. They didn't push them so much that they didn't feel realistic. So yeah, even, if, into even them, if they were a little bit quirky. They're sort still of like, like realistic. Like, you know people who are that yeah, quirky, you know? Totally. Yeah, so. Yeah. yeah. So that makes you want to dig in and think about their real feelings and their real mm -hmm. journeys mm -hmm. and their real right, development, right, even if right. it's all pretend. Right, right, right. I like that. Yeah. Well, I like it. I think we got something out of it, and I wish people well enjoying it, and y'all mm -hmm. should go ahead, if you will, if you like this discussion, mm -hmm. let us know some other things that we can use better posture <laughs> with and discuss so comment and go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel we are growing and check out some other things that we've looked at that have heavy ensemble work i think yeah. if people wanted to check out something like i think maybe we've talked about elspeth but i think in terms of ensemble focus mm -hmm. i think abbott really pulls a little bit more at me when we were looking at the uh, more recent episode of Abbott we talked about. So let us know if you think so. And if you want to comment about other episodes of 
Abbott Elementary or Elsbeth or Animal Control that we should check out. Yeah. Let us know. I would be willing if people wanted to comment. If you want to go ahead and subscribe and comment and let us know we should check out another episode in particular, Absolutely. I would check it out yeah. because it made me laugh, y'all. It's just something yeah. that I'm sort of learning from yeah. more than yeah, really yeah. like I would choose it completely. But yeah. if y'all have like an ace number one episode you want to mm -hmm. comment that we should check out from Animal Control, we'll check it out. Absolutely. All right, y'all. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.